In this video, check it out. I have another cart for y'all. I know it's been a while since I've done some kayak carts, but you know what? I just got this cart in. This is from the company Yak Hacker, and I have seen these carts around. This is a very affordable, kind of basic cart for a kayak, fishing kayak, whether it's uh, you know sea kayak, day touring kayak, fishing kayak, a wide variety of kayaks. It'll pretty much fit anything because it does lay down flat and it fits a keel right there. Check it out, everybody. Just kind of like looking over it, the color is black and blue kind of like me you know about every weekend black and blue the dimensions is 25.75 by 12.2 by 11.8 inch the weight of the cart itself is 12.35 pounds you know you have some basic info if you need to you know go on their website or any type of info right there Oh, looking at this. So over here is kind of like make sure the kickstand is opposite of the pulling direction, secure the kayak to the cart. Place the kickstand on the opposite side. So you see the kickstand's gonna go in the back and you see how happy this guy is pulling which looks like, looking at him, looking at the size of that, that thing looks like the Titanic. But yeah, let's go ahead and open this thing up and let me see what you, what all we get when we order one of these because I have not even seen it yet. I've actually used these, but not this particular one right here. So let's go ahead and do this now. I got my favorite multi-tool. This is the Next Tool multi-tool. Check this thing out, everybody. You know, you got a pair of scissors right here, but we will not be needing the scissors. I think I need the knife and this knife is very sharp. This is the Flagship Pro. Look at that, that thing just, whoo, <laughs> be careful with this. This will ruin your weekend, you know? <laughs> I don't know how many people have been working on stuff and they've ruined their weekend. Let's open that up. Right away, open it up. It looks like the first thing I see is a very big owner's manual. This thing looks like, look at the size, very nicely done owner's manual, look at this. So they're showing some of the things. They have a kayak holder set, a kayak cart, which is what I have, kayak paddle holders, the coolers. Oh, those are actually pretty cool looking coolers. Look like some soft coolers. They have a cup holder and a paddle board adjustable cup holder that one goes on a paddle board somewhere. some basic top instruction these are actually really well done instructions from somebody that's written instructions before these look really good and let's see what we got so we won't be needing those right now because i like figuring stuff out on the go these things look like big shoes so that i'm guessing that's the left and this would be the right the fit and finish on this looks really good that is a really that's a beefy don't get your finger stuck down in there that thing looks tough and some wheels they're basically just your plastic wheels with rubber overlay the biggest advantage you know one of the things with this car is you know kayak carts have got way out of hand here lately i think they've got up to around about four hundred dollars as far as a kayak car not all of them but a lot of them are like that expensive and i wanted to kind of get something that's just more affordable and show y'all that you can get a more affordable cart that will easily kind of like serve the function of just a touring boat a wreck boat or something like that where you don't need a cart to carry 5,000 pounds of you know wow they went out of their way they they have labeled absolutely everything on this and honestly everybody you can see there's not a lot to this I like how they very nicely packaged they did a good job on the package so let me go ahead and put this thing together and let's see how long it takes me to set this thing up. All right, so the first thing you had me doing is sticking the kickstand through here. You grab the two, like these are cross beams. I think that's what they're called, the cross beams. You hook them together like that, and if I want to, and then you lock them down. So check it out. If I want to take these apart, I just pull the locks like that. Check it out how easy that comes apart. So this is made where you could take it apart and throw it inside of a, a hatch or something like that. And then to put it back together, you know, you're just gonna put it like that and then hook it down. See how that hooks together like that. And then check that out, everybody. It just locks one right there. Those are actually pretty tough. There's the actual, pretty much, we're almost done already. So the two wheels are going to go on the side and then we're going to, you know, the cart works like that. So let's put the wheels, wheels on. on, you know, you're going to see this little latch system right here. It looks like that comes down straight. That's pretty genius. I actually like that a lot. You kind of like, just put that like that, slides on and then check it out. It's locked into place. That's it. The wheels are on so you do that on each side so pretty simple to put the wheels on and then to put the hull pads on you know you got a left and a right pad you're just going to slide these up under here like this 
kind of go in and then pops down like that. Same way on this side, pops down like that. You know, everybody, I'm really impressed on how quick and easy that is. And check it out, it's pretty much done. You're gonna put the little kickstand down like that. So you'd set the boat down and then the kickstand will kick up like that. So that's just to kind of like hold it until you get the boat on there and slide that on there. And then you're gonna throw the strap around the hull just like this. And then the kickstand will automatically pop up on its own. Pretty, pretty genius. You know, and it looks like this is all injected molded plastic. This have a rubberized coating here. Everybody, there was a quick little unboxing and assembly of this thing. That maybe took me, that was one of the fastest carts I've ever set up. And th th this is coming from a guy that set up a lot of carts and gets really annoying dealing with little latches and all that. You can't, it doesn't look like you can adjust it out in and out a lot. It is in a fixed location, but for the money, you can't beat this thing. This is a very affordable cart and it feels like a tank. Look at that. It'll easily hold hundreds of pounds. It'll hold a fully loaded fishing kite. So I'll tell y'all what, let me go ahead and let's get to the water because I'm getting ready to go on a fishing trip. Let's go ahead and load up a loaded fishing kayak and see how easy this thing is to wheel down to the lake and then um, put it up and put it inside of a hatch and get out on the water. So yeah, let's get to the water now. All right, here we are. Let's get the cart out. So I'm now, everybody, I'm here at the lake. I've got the Sholey loaded up. Let me go ahead and take it off the trailer here and then we'll, we'll test this cart out because I have tested out several carts before in the past. <laughs> Highly recommend these Yak Attack straps. All right, y'all, I'm over here off to the side here. I'm gonna go ahead. I rolled it over here and it worked flawlessly. So now I'm gonna actually take it off and then put it back on and show y'all how easy this thing is to take on and off. And I have this kayak fully loaded. So I'm probably looking at about 180 to 200 pounds as far as like weight on this thing and the weight capacity on this thing is around about maybe three to 400 so i don't think you're really worried that much about breaking it because i think it's going to hold up just fine you could see how the little kickstand thing works right there it just flops like that i'd probably tighten that bolt up a little bit because it seems like that bolt is a little loose and if it's going to fail somewhere it probably is going to fail about right there but overall the wheels look good everything looks good let me go ahead and take it off and then put it back on and see how easily you can do that because i did it just a few minutes ago and it was like a cakewalk so taking it off we're gonna go right here like this big cam straps and the good thing about the Sholey, they have handles here but one thing that yak hacker suggests is you see these things right here they want you to screw these in somehow into like a gear track or the side of the kayak, which I'm not a fan of. I wouldn't recommend it personally, screwing these into your boat with a screw that small because it will pull off. So if you could figure out a way of mounting these a lot better, I would recommend doing that because this holds the strap in place and keeps it from um, slipping around. But personally, I think you could go through a seat or through like a gear loop or something like that. So taking it off, you're gonna take off this one and this one. I'm just gonna lift off of it like this. Set it down. Now I'm gonna set this up like this. And you see how the little kickstand holds it in place right there? Actually, I'm gonna get it a lot straighter. So once I tighten that bolt down, I think it'll fix that. I should have checked that before I left the house. And because it's really flat, it'll accommodate pretty much everything. So far, I've been really impressed. So let's go ahead and try it. This thing is heavy. <laughs> and when you put a, put a card on, you wanna be not completely center, but a little bit right where the seat is. And that's usually the pivot point. So you can see, I almost nailed it right on it. Now I'm gonna take this strap, run this strap up through there like that. Come to this side run that strap through there like that and then tighten it down and by the way on some of the earlier models they had a plastic buckle here these are metal so these are like a steel but if you have the one with the plastic buckle i would recommend contacting yak hacker and they'll send you a whole new strap because they apparently were breaking at one point right here and they were snapping their buckles and if that buckle breaks your this strap's kind of useless so let's go ahead and look at that I'm not gonna super tighten it down, but that's pretty darn tight right there. So there it is. And see that kickstand should just pull straight up. So let's go ahead and try it. All right. 
right, here we go. We're going from dirt trail to gravel. I'm holding this with just barely holding my hand up here. So we're gonna hit a little bit of sand there. Obviously these aren't sand tires. We're here at the lake. It rolls extremely good on pavement. This thing rolls great on the pavement like this. Let's get down to the shoreline. Okay, here's the test. Let's go ahead and break this thing down. See how easy it takes me to get this thing broken down. So first thing I'm gonna do is pull these up. Pull that up and take the wheels off. And honestly, if I get to that point, I could probably fit this in the hatch. Look at that, everybody. <laughs> Actually, that's, wow, that was seconds. And then these will go down in there. I have to get the stuff out, but the, that's super fast. Well, that was easy. How impressive is that? That was quick. That's seriously probably the fastest card I've ever had to break down. All right, everybody, now for the final thoughts on this thing. So is this thing, you know, is it worth it? Is it, you know, for $69, is this a, a good purchase? Well, you got companies like, you know, Yak Attack has one of the best carts out there, Blue Dot. You know, you have companies like that where the, the carts are around about, you know, almost $200 to $300 and they're not cheap at all. And when you look at a company like that compared to this is $69 and you pretty much get everything you need. Obviously these wheels are pretty small and they're just injected molded wheels with, um, with some rubber on them. But if I'm just kind of want to, of a kick around cart whether it's a wreck boat sea kayak or even a fishing kayak that i don't like have to go long distances like if i'm hiking into a backwoods run i probably wouldn't go with this i'd go with one of the the higher end carts and i will leave links to all the carts that i recommend in the description below but i, I recommend this cart for someone that just wants a budget cart that can kind of do it all break down you've seen how i broke it down threw it inside the hatch and had it all good to go super simple it weighs almost nothing personally if all you're doing is going back and forth on like parking lots and small trails and stuff go with the yak hacker go with this cart right here because you will not go wrong with this but if you've got a long haul and you're going to be carrying you know hundreds of pounds whether it's john boats or something like that and you need the bigger wheels go with another type of cart like the yak attack yak attack uh tow and stow or the bunker buster or something like that because i think you'll in the long run you'll like it better having that premium cart over something a little cheaper like this but I think 90% of the people out here will be just fine with this Yak Hacker cart. And everybody, I'll leave links to all these carts below that I suggest. And I will leave links at the end of this video of other carts that I've reviewed. That's all I got today, everybody, for the, you know, the Yak Hacker kayak cart. See you guys in the next video. Woo!